Virgo, how are you doing? This is your love reading from the 17th until the 23rd of June, 2020. I'm going to be calling in your spirit guides. I am a herbalist. If you've been here before, hello. It's so nice to have you back again. If it's your first time, hi, it's Deborah. This is my channel, Energy of Everything. I am a herbalist, so I call in your spirit guides with my herbal concoctions, as I like to call them. But yeah, they're nice. Ooh, and they just spattered some herbs all over my table. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Virgo, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, trust me, you'll know. <laughs> okay, almost from the beginning. If it doesn't sit with you and you're like, I don't know, then it's not your one, then check back next week, which is absolutely normal, by the way. Um, if you also want to reverse energies, because I'm going to be talking about you and your person, you can do so. There is also a spirit guide, your spirit guide's message at the end of the reading. They're going to leave you either some information or advice. We don't know. We shall see what comes up in the cards. There is also an extended. If you want to check that out, there is a link below. If there's ever, guys, an issue with the extended, sometimes because it's digital, it does give a little bit of a wonky thing, just please reach out to me. I'm um, either through the through the Etsy app message me and as soon as I'm I'm able I will send you the link directly never freak out okay or email me even I will always get back to you I always want to make sure everybody um, can get to see what they need to see okay here we go guys let's get started spirit guys are like let's start look at that how fast they drop cards you're like let's start poof drop a card two cards imagine <laughs> okay ha huh, Virgo let's have a look and see Virgo, what is going on in your energy? Um, there is some stuff you hit, you carry, you carry, you should stress out. The King of Swords energy is in the reverse position. Um, okay, so this is what I'm looking at here. There's a Two of Pentacles with the King of Swords energy. You stressed out, okay, you carrying too much. It's heavy for you to carry what you are carrying. Um, it's causing you to get short-tempered. It's causing you to lose your mind. <laughs> That's what spirit guides are saying. It's like you're losing it a little bit. Whatever is going on, excuse me, whatever is going on, if this is with another person or this is you carrying too much, doing too much, uh, you're in danger of dropping one of these pentacles. So you can lose control. This is also causing you to be in a state of that. That King of Swords reverse energy, you know, when we get so stressed out, we can sometimes, you know, get short and lose our temper. And, you know, it's like, I know when I've been carrying too much, do you know how I know I've been carrying too much? <laughs> if I go through the house, you know, and I accidentally like kick my toe, um, and I've been, I'm in this two of pentacles energy and I'm, I'm, I'm way too stressed. I've been carrying too much. I've been dealing with too much. Okay. I kick my toe and then I have a mental breakdown and I cry like like you know i don't know an elephant sat on my head you know what i mean instead of i just kept my toe but hey hey we felt how painful that is it's like that sense of um this is almost like the energy it's like you're holding on so tight but if one little thing can go wrong it's like you'll just collapse on the ground and be like oh my god you know what i mean so be careful there okay three of cups is in the reverse energy there is a king of pentacles here this is your person's energy. Remember, you can reverse as well. So, okay. Um, there is, okay, first of all, with the Three of Cups being there, this can be extended family. This can be friends. This can be gathering of people. It can also indicate your guys' relationship. So now, there is a King of Pentacles over there. This person who you're dealing with is extremely focused on their work right now. They're very focused on their own thing, okay? They may be kind of leaving you to carry the weight. You left to balance this off, okay? The thing is now, with the King of Pentacles being there, they're focusing a lot on themselves. They may also be bringing in energy into this connection. That's got to do with extended family. That's got to do with their friends. It's got to do even with their work. They're bringing their work home, which causes more stress for you to handle. And um, I also think they're a little bit overly focused on their work. They could also be getting stressed out as well. So when they get stressed out as well, with the Three of Cups being in the reverse position, that mouth can go off sometimes, okay? Now we've got an energy of 
sometimes it could be even you because of the king of swords being there but i do feel sometimes it's even them that words can be said things can be said like very quick and very sharp that maybe were not meant to be said to each other okay so let's have a look and see yeah look at that king of swords energy in the upright position so let me tell you virgo this is like this would be so your energy hey because i know uh, virgo and let me tell you your do not cross a Virgo. Can you just imagine saying something? I think Beyonce is like a Virgo. Can you imagine saying something to Beyonce like, whatever Beyonce, woo. I don't think she's going to come back at you with a smile. I think she's going to be smiling, but she's going to be saying something that's going to make you go hide in the bathroom and cry. Hello, Virgo. Right over there. Love you guys so much. One of my closest, closest connections is a Virgo. And I can't live without her. She's amazing. This is my daughter, actually. My oldest daughter. She is, like, amazing. Um, yeah. Okay. So what is happening? Uh, yeah. You're in that energy of don't mess with me. Okay. Because I will slice and dice you with my 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 voice, my words. Um, yeah. Your person is highly busy. This is... I always kind of pick this up in your guys' readings, hey? And it's really weird. But uh, yeah, there's also a chariot in reverse energy for you. Uh, that is reverse energy. A little bit of advice maybe. Because um, the chariot always says don't put too much pressure. Just kind of cool it a bit, you know what I mean? With that whole slice and dice kind of thing. Just kind of like, whoa. Right now, just take a deep breath. Don't freak out too much. Let's just see what is unfolding here. Because it's like... I feel like this chariot is talking about these two cards here. It's talking about the back and forth, like the anger being very... It's also very serious energy that I'm picking up here from this King of Swords, hey? Very serious, also focused energy. And uh, I think even for yourself, just try to ease it up a little bit. Try to find a way to kind of like release some of the things that you are carrying. Because I feel like you're carrying a huge amount of responsibility, Okay. I'm just picking up that your person kind of like has got this energy of they're focusing heavily on something, on their own stuff. It's going very well for them, by the way. Because they're focusing a lot of their own things, it may be leaving you sort of carrying the carrying the rest of it. You know what I mean? Carrying more than what you should be carrying. Whatever they're doing, that is an ace of wands down there. My goodness gracious me. They've got timing on their side. Something is happening that is major in their energy. Um... Timing has popped up in their side. And they dream whatever they dream. It's almost like they're striking while the iron is still hot. You know, that old saying. Um, whatever venture they're planning, whatever idea that they got, they got to do it and they got to do it now. I am not surprised to see a King of Pentacles coming out with this Ace of Wands being at the bottom there. Um, this is almost a karmic thing that's happening to them. The moment for them to move, it's now. This, by the way, this could be what's causing the stress to come out here. It's because they, 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 a lot of their energy is focusing maybe not on the relationship right now. They're focusing on a lot of stuff that's happening in their life. But the thing is, you know what? I feel like they've broken some kind of thing here. Because two cards have come up here. Both these cards talk about karma. The judgment card is about karma. It's about releasing old karmic ways of being. And it's about moving forward. The Ace of Wands, it's about karma as well. It's about the ending of karmic cycles. This person is in the throes of that. That is why they got the King of Pentacles energy. But yes, let me not fool it with you. Let me not say, let me not put a fantasy up here. It is not easy to end a karmic cycle. It's not like, I'm ending a karmic cycle. I'm going to walk off into the sunset. No, it's hard. It's like I'm crawling through barbed wire kind of a thing. But this person is doing it. They are doing it. I don't feel any kind of energy like from them that um, I just feel like it's stress on the home front. I feel like it's stress between your guys' connection that uh, can kind of like maybe you don't feel you get that attention from them as you wish to get, or their focus is someone out of somewhere else. But yo, that is just unbelievable. Let me tell you, please don't worry if this is you. Oh my goodness, do not worry. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This person. Is at a crossroad in their life. They're at a crossroads of. They're at crossroads. This is major. This is a, whatever is happening to your person. This is big. 
This is a big event. Um, two of Wands has come out there. They ask all the questions, by the way. Sometimes when the stress happens between you and them, they do ask like, well, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be together? Will we end up breaking up one day? But you know what? Um, it's They're asking these questions, not because it's a bad thing. They're asking these questions because they're ending a massive cycle in their life. This person is like on the brink of something big. Okay, stick with it. <laughs> Just don't give up yet. That is what the chariot card is about. Just whoa, whoa, put the brakes on the chariot card just a little bit. Okay, um, I do feel, figure out a way to release some of the stress that or burdens that you are carrying. You know, let it be a family member that comes and helps you out. Let it be, um, uh, you know, ask an assistant maybe to come and assist you with some of the work that you're doing. You know, something of that kind of matter. If it is a financial thing that you're trying to carry, maybe this person could be even starting a complete new business and you're carrying it a little bit, um, maybe speak to them and say, look, you know what, I can't do that that far. I need your help here. Then we'll see how they react. They are not in a negative frame of mind. I just pick up a lot of stress and a lot of things that are happening in this connection. Um, that's going to do a big change. Big change. Uh, look at this. Six of Pentacles has come out. Hallelujah. This person will treat you fairly. I haven't felt um, anything from them that says they are not focusing on you. I think they worry a little bit that because of maybe fights that can happen. It's almost not like fights. It's like words that get said. It's, it doesn't escalate into a big fight. Like It's almost like shock... Uh, you know, that sharp tongue. It's like when you're dealing with each other, say you're in the house, you know, and you're making coffee. It's like, you know, get out of the way. You, you don't know how to do that properly, you know? And that's kind of like that sharp energy that comes in. And this is what can make them worry like, ooh, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be okay? But I do think you're going to be okay. Intentionally, this person is wanting to work with you here with the Six of Pentacles. This is beautiful, guys. The Six of Pentacles is about you receiving fair treatment from this person. I want to tell you something. I believe this person is on a break. They, they're at a point of a major breakthrough. Major breakthrough in their life. And there can be earth energy as well. What I like about this is that, you know, when they have that breakthrough, when they get that thing they're working on, whatever that King of Pentacles is focusing on, male or female energy, whatever that goal is, whatever that shift that is happening in their life, when they receive, I believe it's got to do with something financial. It's got to do with security. You know, when that security comes in, when that money, when that everything comes in, this is something they want to share with you. This is not, this, they're doing this for you guys not just for themselves. This has got to do with the bigger picture of them being with you. This is very good, Virgo. This is a beautiful reading. It is normal. I think I've read something like similar that the, in the last reading, like you guys went through, I don't know, it was a week or two back where two couple, a couple was going through something quite big and um, uh, they worked through it. And it almost feels like it's this energy. They work through it. Could be like financial issues, working through it and they very mature energy, very good connection. There we go. Let's see. Oh, uh, they kind of like this. flip that card out. So I want to take this one. Let's see your spirit guide message. What is going on here? Seven of Cups in the reverse energy. You guys will be just fine. You just need to be, you just need to get your wits about you. You know, you need to just make sure that you, uh, that you handle everything that comes your way because sometimes in life we are faced with um, unexpected things that happen in life um, but we can handle them right with the seven of cups energy being there like my goodness gracious whatever has been going on in your guys connection um, this could it's could the, I think this is related to why you're feeling the two of pentacles this feeling like I can't carry this you may have been carrying stuff here for quite some time. It may have been on you to kind of like be the responsible one, to kind of like be the one that sits in even It's like you sit in stress and worry with the King of Swords being here in your head. That sword always indicates head thoughts as well. And it's stressful to be the one worrying all the time. But that's about to end. 
Because that seven of cups, that talks about this time. It can be a space of time where this thing keeps on happening. It's almost like being stuck in the rut kind of energy. Um, it gets, it's almost like a little bit frustrating, you know, to be stuck in this energy of I'm always carrying everything. I'm always carrying in everything. And that's that they're just saying, please do not worry with the seven of cups that has come out here. This time is about to pass. <gasps> There is going to be some complete new experiences right around the corner in this connection. Wow, I'm just saying, Virgo, this could lead, because that King of Pentacles is there, to a very, very strong connection in the future. If you guys are not married, this can lead to marriage. And a very strong marriage. This is like, you know building a life together and not just oh we're suffering all the way no doing very well oh, congratulations Virgo I like it so much I think in the extended we're gonna look at what builds after this change because this is about to change this is about to go to a very good place that the seven of cups is a good positive energy what occurs in the future here with this joint connection that is the energy there we go virgo wow i'm sending you all my light and love thank you so much for watching the reading bye